Hello, today we try Army of Ruin. It uh, released only a few days ago. It's very similar to Vampire Survivor, this type of game. Let's try it all right now. And uh, the ones that I tried that are similar to Vampire Survivors, unfortunately, were not developed further, such as Zombie Survivors and even Free Fight. Free Fight, I really liked it, but it had a lot of potential. Needed work, unfortunately, uh, it seems abandoned. This game looks really polished. I checked out a YouTube video real quick. The music is pretty good and the graphics are good. Uh, and this really feels like the wand, what I have right now from Vampire Survivor. So that will be the frame of reference. Um, I'm gonna go, of course, I know nothing. So we're just gonna try a first run. In the future, everything will be, if I make future runs, everything will be double speed. That's something you ask a long time ago from Vampire Survivors but not the first run just so uh, you get a feel of what the game is about it costs $4 Canadian um, and we'll see if it's worth it I'll let you know what I think as I play this is commentary as we go so there's a lot of things to unlock I checked it out a little bit if you make certain actions during your run let me just check uh, so more health maybe more speed I do walk uh, a bit slow, I find. So let's try this out. So this is a pilot episode. Um, it's not just a trying out video. When I know I'm gonna make a series, and if I make a series on this, it's non-linear. Okay, it's just runs and trying all sorts of things, exactly like Vampire Survivors. So if you're interested in this, I look for views, likes, comments, and subscription. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I usually play, I usually play uh, idle and incremental game, but also once in a while I play roguelike games and uh, shoot them ups like this. I'm not sure how to call that uh, some sort of a swarm survivor game. What's the name of this genre exactly? I'm not even certain. And when you look at the, the tags in Steam, it's like shoot them up, top down. Uh, even RPG, fantasy, roguelike, I suppose. I'm trying to kill this big thing there. There you go. What's this? Okay, that would be an elite mob. Let's see what we get. So level 2, vol volcanic orb. Better cooldown. Okay. Alright, so we got Storm Javelin. Um, um, more, more XP. Let's go more XP. I want to level up. Uh, electrical pools. Attack size. Okay, let's go attack size. So, bigger projectiles. Alright. I think I got hit for the first time. So, if there's uh, some sort of I'll call them achievements, the unlocks. If it is an achievement for making a full run without getting hit, then I just failed. <laughs> I, uh, supposedly there's full controller support, but I'm playing mouse and keyboard and it feels really comfortable, so I'll do just fine. Oh, reduce cooldown. That's exactly like the empty tone in Vampire Survivor. I just got hit again. Gotta be careful. I don't want to uh, die. Seems like the runs are slow. Uh, shorter too, aren't they 10 minutes? I think there's a boss at the end, that's what I saw. I'm going to wander a, a little bit. Wander, sorry, a little bit. See what we can find. And these look like... Uh, I've always compared to Vampire Survivor. I spent a quite amount of time on this game. And we're not done with Vampire Survivors. I have all sorts of ideas. But I'm playing a lot with the Golden Egg right now. Even though it's insane and it's not a normal game. I don't care. It's too much fun. <laughs> that last one was pretty crazy. I'll probably link. At the end, I'm not sure what I'm going to present, but I'll probably link some Vampire Survivor stuff. And my most viewed series, which is Idol Slayer. It is a idol game. Incremental game. So three minutes. We're still alive. I don't feel like I'm strong at all, though. Powerful shot aim. Towers around the enemy. about this? I'm going with this. Okay, this is vertical. 
we're gonna line up like this. So if I line up to the boss, I'm gonna shoot the boss. Nice. Well, so far it's fun. I like it. So do I choose? No, three rewards. Oh, okay. So it would be like a chest with three items in them. And look, it could be five maybe, you know. So we got magic staff level two and two more orbs. Oh, I'm getting Wow, I didn't notice uh, I was getting hit here. Oh, there's money there. Let's get that. For future unlocks. More money. But there's XP, so I'm just going to turn around and try to pick up some XP. So, of course, it's not going to be a spectacular run in terms of skill. It's my first one ever. But give me some time and we'll... Uh, <laughs> short range attack. The closest enemy. Mm. I like attack size. Uh, my fireballs will get bigger and bigger. Um. Oh, let's try this. I want to try out a couple of weapons just to see what they do. Ah, uh, okay. It's something super short range. A green thing. The closest enemy. And in fact, it goes through mobs. So if I go here. It will hit multiple mobs at once, it seems. Yes, it does. Okay, that's good. Here's food. I'm gonna try to take it. I gotta kill those mobs and my DPS is quite low right now. More speed again. No, more XP. Uh, let's go with that. Now I wanna do more damage. So if it's really 10 minutes and my runs would be double speed, that's interesting. It makes videos much shorter. And I can show what I buy in the shop and stuff. Even though at one point everything would be maxed out, I suppose, based on my experience with once again Vampire Survivors. There's money over there. Let's try to get it. go no oh, here's a an elite mob let's go towards it and I'll line up myself for the trident 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 <laughs> trident to do the damage we'll be below it there's a crate there too right there I want to see what it is all right see what we got more run speed, sure, I'll take it. Okay, there's a rock that blocked me. <laughs> Here's money. Oh, the crown would be probably a bigger type of money, I would assume. Yeah, cooldown is good. I sound like I'm an expert at this game already, not really. <laughs> uh, please let me know in the comments what you think of this game. If you tried it, if you think it has potential to. Uh, because it's an early access, it just came out, right? They'll add stuff. This is already fun. I don't know how much content there is. Um, everybody will try to compare, well, like I'm doing it myself, compare it to Vampire Survivors, but let's remember that when they started the game, this $3 game, there was way less content than there is now with version 1.0, so... You know, a free fight again, if they didn't uh, give up the game and tweak certain things and added stuff, it would have been an amazing game, in my opinion, I really liked it. If not amazing, at least pretty good. But he never did anything, so I did three runs and uh, rightfully, uh, there was not much interest in the videos, nor in the game. It's a shame. So wave 8, was it the... Uh, so I don't know how, okay, I was looking at 7 minutes, so, oh, minute 0 is wave 1, so maybe 1 minute per wave is possible. Let's see at 8 minutes if it says wave 9, then maybe wave 10, and then boss. I'm making this up, I don't have a clue. I watched the video, but not fully, I just checked it out super quick just to see if I would be interested in the gameplay of this. That's the point of 
making trying out videos. That's not what it is. This this is a pilot episode. But uh, when I try again, you know, the goal is just to, especially games like um, one that I just did, a non-stop raider. There was no video at all on YouTube, so I made one. The video did okay, and uh, people can check it out if they want to know if they're interested. It's a non-stop runner type of game, very simple game, three dollar game again. <laughs> You know, you check out the video and you decide that looks like a lot of fun, you know. You see the gameplay and the person's reaction to the game. There's a lot of those videos without comment though. They're sort of useful too, I guess, but I wouldn't do that. That's not my type. I think there was a wave 9 there, wasn't there? 8 minutes? So I think there would be two minutes left, then a boss fight. And then we look at that shop. I don't think I'll buy anything because I would have to think about what to buy. What I would do is I will go through the shop, show you what's there. Then um, if I see you're interested in more videos, in next run, just before next run, I would show you what I bought and then go straight for the run. What would be my goal in this? Unlock everything like in Vampire Survivor and see if I can make things crazy like the golden eggs. Oh wait, that was a bomb, that's like a rosary. <laughs> Try all characters, choose my favorite one, you know, maybe stick with my favorite character. Although I want to vary my videos up. No, oh, 9 minutes 16 seconds. Oh, what's this? Oh, so that's a... Uh, is it? Is it just a temporary boost or it's forever? I don't see a bar or anything. I'm looking for a little logo with a... Like this. Okay, the, I'm sort of on fire or something. Uh, I slowed down, so I couldn't see... Because I'm concentrating on my character. I couldn't see anywhere on the screen where you would see the power up and how much time is left. So there was just a power up that made me run faster. And a few seconds left, there should be a boss, that we understand it, at least. Let's see. Okay, it's called Final Wave, it's not called <laughs> Boss or whatever. I hope the, they don't shoot. Look, I'll use the wall. <laughs> hmm. That's a cheap way to beat him. Some trouble reaching me or what? <laughs> Look at that. What are you gonna do? Well, now he has friends coming though. I may have to run away, unfortunately. I cannot use it, that tactic. Oh, let's see if I can. Let's go to the right a little bit. Uh, to the left. I think it's gonna work. He's still stuck there. <laughs> the AI is zero on this. He's not trying to go around, no. He just sits there and... In fact, I don't even have to move. Look, he just sits there. Okay, so I'm cheesing this, so they might want to fix this. But the game just came out, it's a relaxed set, so we'll uh, give the... <laughs> ah, I'm just gonna sit there and enjoy the... Uh, let's go with uh, more damage, I can kill this thing faster. There's a lot of XP there. I don't, I don't need it. Oh no, like, it was a bit silly to do that. Oh, I wanted more XP, but now he's free. So let's run away and try to find another place where I can have him stuck. <laughs> let's try this obstacle there. Oh, it, look, it's working again. He's stuck. Does nothing. <laughs> Oh, that's a lot of fun. I like it. So, victory, okay. Alright, let's see what happens then. So, these are the results. We got a DPS for each. 
I don't want to pretend that I'm surprised by seeing this because I saw that in the video I was watching. But that's really cool. They show you the path that you used and the sort of treasure that you found. That's really cool. And uh, I unlock a bunch of things. They call it challenge. Um, I'm just gonna scroll instead of just reading everything. I hate doing that. So I'm just go like this and. We did a few things, of course, when you start and you unlock a million things, then it slows down. That's pretty normal. There you go. Okay. So that's cool. Look at that. I really like that a lot. Cool. All right. So what is this? Are we there? Oh, okay. So I would assume the magic staff is not available for other character. That was, that would be a possibility. Now, the unlocks, the characters, okay, and then these are the weapons. I'm trying to see... Yeah, here's a magic staff and that axe. Okay, and then escape. Upgrades. Let's look at upgrades and I'll decide what to buy. So I got 15 and 70. Here, let's go one by one. So we got damage. Okay, I'm gonna look on the bottom here. So damage is 5% for each, cooldown on minus 2.5%. And then we got projectile size, projectile speed, that's like the bracer. Duration of attack and their effects, that would be the spellbinder. Skill cooldown. Experience, money, movement speed, pickup range. So that, yeah, that's attractive. Well, everything is, but anyways, you can see this, what, 10 levels each? I'm going to want to max out everything. Luck. It increases item drop and chest quality and even add level up choices. Okay. Health, regen, and okay, if I pick up food, it's more efficient. So I have to decide, okay. I'll buy at least this, I'll buy one. There we go. And then we'll make a decision. I can't even go further. Price went up too much. Okay, so that, that's the army of room for you. Uh, let me know what you think. Again, uh, views, like, comments, subscriptions. That's what I'm looking for for pilot episode. Next one will be double speed, then I'll do a voiceover after the fact. My goal was to make this experience as authentic as possible, to see if you're interested and also maybe you would want to play the game. So that's about it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.